Given the large number of protests occurring regarding Gaza, I suppose it's not surprising that the one in Hackney has got rather lost and had little reporting. Still, Hackney is a, a fairly large borough and has several hundred thousand inhabitants. You would have expected I'd have found some degree of media coverage. Instead, the media coverage I found was, well, parsimonious is one way of looking at it. Um, this is the Hackney Citizen, which is a free newspaper that people in the area hand out. And these three councillors on the front are suspended from uh, due to asking for uh, due to issues over Gaza. That's councillors Claudia Turbot de Hellef, Penny Rott, and Fliss Premier. They're all suspended at the minute. We believe that we can work more effectively outside the Labour Party. Those are the subtly scaling words of Fliss Prebru, one of three local councillors who announced this morning that they have quit Hagney Labour. Prebru spoke alongside councillors Claudio Tibbert, Delof and Penny Rote, with whom she has just formed the Hackney Independent Socialist Group. The trio held their first press conference outside Hackney Town Hall at 11.30am, cheered on by pro-Palestinian protesters who set up camp in the square and have now, by my reckoning, been in the square for well over a week. We're probably talking about eight to nine days now. To add to their fiery statement posted on social media earlier on the day, which I noticed there's a link to, so I'll go back to that in a little bit, Councillor Root kicked off proceedings saying, this morning we met with the Mayor of Hackney, Caroline Woodley, who, as people will remember, suddenly arrived on scene after Phil Glanville and his bro, Tom Dewey, um, had a little accident with a computer, shall we say, to explain why we're leaving the Labour Party. It's for lots of reasons about the inaugurations of Labour's national policies when it comes to dealing with the problems we have in this country. <laughs> you don't even need to look to the national level when you have Hackney Council involved. Hackney's ability to deal with a problem is equivalent to um, a three-year-old toddler's ability to perform advanced calculus but it's also crucially about Labour's lily livered stand from the beginning on Gaza. Councillor Root pointed to the shares Hackney Council's pension funds holds in an Israeli arms company, Elbit, which is a very large company with hundreds and hundreds of millions of pounds of um, revenue and literally thousands of employees involved in supplying weapons and armaments throughout the world. Now, my own argument will be if we looked at any government, we'd probably find pension funds that were a bit dodgy. We could probably find them linked to anyone. But having said that, they should be free to raise the point if they want to. There is a small window opportunity for them to sell those shares before the Tory government makes it illegal for them to do so. They need to act now before the legislation goes into the statute books to make sure that Hackney is not investing in Israeli arms to devastating consequences. Now, of course, this being Hackney, we also have the added complication and problems. Now, Hackney is an area in London and really in the whole world where there is a huge Jewish population clustered. And to make matters even more complicated, they're Orthodox Jewish. And Orthodox Jewish believers tend to have mixed feelings about Zionism as it is. But on the other hand, they do identify as Jewish. So we've got a huge potential for silliness here. And we've got a square filled up with people who, it must be said, are generally the protesters are quite quiet and friendly in there. No one's doing anything more than doing a bit of shouting in there or, or a bit of a chanting. They're just sitting there drinking coffee, doing some chanting. There's no real violence or silliness that I saw. Councillor Turbo Diloff was next up, leading chants of Viva Viva Palestinia before addressing the crowd. She said, as you may know, I'm Bolivian, Latin America is standing strong with Palestine. We've always called for the liberation of Palestine. That's another issue with the whole situation, Palestine and Gaza. We're getting all sorts of intersectional nationalist rivalries going on where people will stand up for the situation, like the Irish, for example, my own ethnic background, because they perceive it as having echoes of imperialism in it. It's getting really very heated out there at times. At the moment, it's not in the square in Hackney, but who knows? I've seen a few heated, grumpy protests around London. I'm delighted to be here today that say that we're going to leave with compassion. And having said that about heat protests, people should still have the right to hold a different point of view. 
She continues, it's been really difficult to see here in Hackney and all over the country. Labour members being blocked, being expelled and being indefinitely suspended, including our incredible Diana. Well, Diane did actually, to a certain extent, um, put her own foot in, in, in it with her letters over the years. And the, although some of her points were valid, um, tone deaf would be perhaps the word we're looking for with them. Having said that, being tone deaf is not a crime. Diane didn't say anything that was, you know, actionable to my point in mind. And there was did seem to be a sudden knee-jerk reaction to what she had to say. We are not here to create a war with Labour. We are here to present residents freely and without fear of suspicion and to bring all the topics that we need to bring to the t council chamber. That's enough of them for now, but I'm interested in their statement for early on social media. Let's have a look at that, see if I can open it up in a... What's their statement? Has it got it like actually laid out? Okay, well, it's got... Oh, here we go. I'll highlight it. In a statement posted on X, formerly Twitter, which everyone is still calling Twitter anyway, because X is not a particularly memorable title, but leaving that aside, we can no longer in good conscience contain, continue campaigning for a Labour Party which nationally refused to call out the genocide in Gaza, continues to support arms sell to Israel, and seeks to clamp down on pro-Palestinian protests. Um, let me skip back to the original article. I'll include both copies of this down the bottom of the video. Strangely enough, there's been little attention given to this, although they've been sitting outside Hackney Town Hall now for... By tomorrow, it will be getting on for 10 or 11 days out, out there. Perhaps people are just hoping if they don't draw attention to yet another demonstration, it it will fade away over time. We'll see. 